This is the Beyond the Box Dumbbell Workout. Before getting into the workout, make sure to go through the warm up, get ready for the workout by increasing your heart rate, increasing your body temperature, and you're starting to swell a little bit before you get into it. For today's strength portion, we're gonna be building an upper body strength through the dumbbell floor press. This is gonna be done as we're gonna this is gonna be done as building to a heavy set of two reps over seven sets. If we're unable to build up to a heavy weight because we're limited in resources, then focus more on building time under tension uh, during those sets. So start them as regular, but then every time you every set, try and look at work at adding one second to every descent. So start at you know just one second down, one second up, and then work towards two seconds down, two seconds pause, and then three seconds and two seconds kind of working through there, adding that time under the descent and pausing in the bottom and then exploding or pressing back up to that starting position. Let's get into position. So for the floor press, we're gonna be seated on the floor. It's easy to start seated, have the dumbbells on either side of you, get the dumbbells in your hands on your legs, and then you're gonna roll back into your floor position. Keep your elbows about a 45 degree angle away from the side of your body. So pointing um, out to the corners of the room that you may be laying in, and you're going to press from elbows on the ground or the back of the arms on the ground to then arms straight overhead. And then lower them down with control until the elbows or the back of the arms touch the floor again. If we want to increase the difficulty or intensity of the movement, then we can push our hips up into the air and we can hold a bridge while we go into our presses this is going to require more midline control and it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, so as we're in this position, as we're going through these movements, we want to work towards building a heavy set of two or like I said earlier, tempo. So then tempo would be from, as I bring the weights down, slow and controlled on the way down, one or two or three seconds, pause in the bottom and then press back up, explode. We want to make sure that we're not using momentum to kind of bounce out of the bottom position. So if you don't have a whole lot of weight they can add, then work on adding more time to the descent of the movement. Once you've done your seven sets of two reps, then you're gonna move into the AMRAP. For the AMRAP today, it is a 14 minute AMRAP of 40 penguin taps. They are gonna be double taps of the hips for 40 reps, or if that's a little bit too difficult for you rhythm wise, then let's work at just eight, then doing 80 single taps. 20 one arm or single arm dumbbell push presses. So you'll do 10 on one side, then you'll do 10 on the other. And then we have 10 per arm, uh, single arm dumbbell bent over rows. The RX weight for the men is 50 pounds. For the ladies, it's 35 pounds. So let's take a look at those moves. If I'm doing the penguin taps, stand nice and tall, hands up my sides, I'm going to jump and tap, double tap my hips in the air. So what I would look like for um, rebounding reps is, or cycling reps would look like this. And if I'm di having a difficulty in jumping, getting that jump height to get the double tap, then do quick single taps and you're gonna do double the number of reps there. So do singles or doubles. Remember, reminder, double taps, 40 reps, single taps, 80 reps. And then once you're done your reps there, then you're gonna move into the push presses. So weight's gonna start on the shoulders. Do half your reps on one side, half on the other. Maintain a nice tight core, chest up, elbows up, bend the knees, drive and press and lock the weight overhead. Once you do weight on one side, do it on the other, show your side view. Wanna make sure we're not bending at the back, we're staying nice and tight, we're bracing, hips, shoulders, are stacked over the ankles, bend the knees, drive, press lock out overhead. As the weight comes down, bend the knees, catch with the soft knees so you can drive right into this next rep. Once you're done your 10 per arm uh, bent push presses, then you're gonna go into 10 per arm bent over rows. Maintain a neutral spine, tight core, shoulders engaged, and chest up, try not to roll forward through the shoulders, keeping the shoulders back and down. 10 on one side, 10 on the other, 
And once you've gone through your bent of rows, you're gonna go back to the penguin taps and you're gonna start the next round. And you're gonna go back and forth, cycling through those reps until 14 minutes is up. Get after it and have fun.